A SQL file is what the name implies, a text file with the extension of .sql that contains a series of queries that will be executed by a database server. In this example, the SQL file to be used is named guitar1.sql.zip and it contains queries to 1. Drop three tables if they already exist. 2. To create the same three tables and the fields within each of the tables. And finally, 3 to add data to the newly created tables. This example makes three assumptions. One, that you are working in a shared hosting environment. Two, that the database already exists. And three, that you are accessing the database as a user with rights to create new tables within the database. As just mentioned, this video shows that I am logged into a shared hosting account and will be working with the Guitar One database that was shown being created in a previous video. I am logged in as the account owner, which by default has full privileges to create and alter any database within the account. This video demonstrates the process of importing the SQL file using the PHP MyAdmin tool, which should be accessible through the cPanel interface. This tool is widely used and should be available in your hosting account interface. Begin by finding and clicking the PHP MyAdmin tool in the control interface. You may be presented with a sign-in screen. If so, use your account hosting credentials to sign in. Once the tool launches, you should see a list of databases on the left. Click the database you wish to import the SQL file to. In this example, I will select the Guitar One database. If the database has no tables, you will see a screen similar to that shown in this video, which says no tables exist and gives you the option to create a new table. Instead of creating tables by hand, find and click the Import tab at the top right of the screen. The first option in this new screen is to select a file to import. That is what is wanted. If you read the directions, you will note that the SQL file to import may be uncompressed, meaning that it has been unzipped, or remain zipped. However, if the file is zipped, it must be named in the format of filename.sql.zip. Click the Browse button. A standard dialog box will open, allowing you to browse on your local machine to where the SQL file is stored. Once you have found the file, click it twice or click it once and then click the Open button in the dialog box. Having selected the file, scroll down the Import page and click the Go button. If all queries in the file work correctly, you should be given a green bar indicating that everything was successful. Then, after a brief pause, the results of the queries, in this case to create three new tables, should appear. In this instance, the new tables should appear on the left under the name of the database. Click each of the tables in order to see the results of the import. The Categories and Products tables have had data inserted into them as a result of the import, while the Orders table has fields but has no data. This concludes the demonstration of importing a SQL file. To exit the PHP MyAdmin tool, click the Exit icon an open door with a green arrow on the left. You will be logged out of the tool. You can then close the tab and you should see the still open cPanel in the original tab.